Welcome to another episode of Fancy Tech. Don't forget to like and subscribe to learn more about technology history and up-to-date innovations. Video games have become an important part of the entertainment industry. Contrary to the traditional belief that gaming is merely an addictive source of entertainment and diversion, recent research has shown that video games offer a number of benefits for both children and adults. Just as physical exercises help improve and strengthen your muscles, the constant brain stimulation from playing video games help improve the performance of the brain. It helps improve problem-solving skills, enhances memory, improves concentration, social skills, and provides a great source of learning. In today's video, we're going to talk about some of the most influential and revolutionary video games of all times that have helped evolve the gaming industry into something that we know today. Pac-Man The infamous Pac-Man was developed by Namco in 1980. It was initially released in Japan and was called the Pac-Man, which was later changed to Pac-Man for the game's international release. The name change was done as a preventative measure to keep people from tampering with the letter P to make it an F. Outside Japan, the game was published by Midway Games as part of the licensing agreement with Namco America. For those of you who haven't played this game yet, the gameplay is quite simple, yet very engaging. The player controls a yellow colored Pac-Man, who must eat all the dots inside an enclosed maze while avoiding the four colored ghosts. Eating large flashing dots, which are called power pellets, causes the ghosts to turn blue, allowing Pac-Man to eat them for bonus points. The developer of the game Toru Iwantani wanted to create a game that could appeal to both women and men because most video games at the time had themes of war or sports. The inspiration for Pac-Man character was reportedly the image of a pizza with a slice removed. The widespread critical and commercial success of the game, led by the development of several sequels, merchandise and two television series, as well as a hit single by Buckner and Garcia. The Pac-Man video game franchise remains one of the highest grossing and best selling game series of all time generating more than $14 billion in revenue. Tetris All the tile-matching puzzle games on your smartphone trace their lineage back to the almighty Tetris. It was initially developed by Alexei Pajitinov in 1984 and has been published by several companies over time. Player has to create complete lines by moving different shaped pieces, the tetramones, which scroll from the top to the bottom of the playing field. The completed lines disappear and grant the player points, and the player can proceed to fill the vacated spaces. The game ends when the playing field is filled to the top and no additional pieces can descend downwards. The player has to set or break the highest score by delaying the inevitable outcome. In multiplayer games, the players have to last longer than their opponents. And in certain versions, players can inflict penalties on their opponents by completing a significant number of lines. Tetris has sold 202 million copies, which includes 70 million physical units and 132 paid mobile game downloads as of 2011, making it one of the best selling video game franchises of all time. Super Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. is easily one of the most played video games around the world. It was released in Japan in 1985 for the Famicom and in North America and Europe for the Nintendo Entertainment System in 1985 and 1987 respectively. 
players control Mario or his brother Luigi in the multiplayer mode, as they travel the Mushroom Kingdom to rescue Princess Peach's toadstool from Bowser. They must traverse side-scrolling stages while avoiding hazards such as enemies in pits with the aid of power-ups such as Super Mushroom, Fire Flower, and Starman. Super Mario Bros. is frequently cited as one of the greatest video games of all time, with praise on its precise controls. It is also one of the best-selling games of all time, with more than 40 million physical copies sold. It is credited alongside the Nintendo Entertainment System as one of the key players in reviving the video game industry after the 1983 crash. The infamous Super Mario Bros. music is considered one of the major forces to accelerate the shift towards music becoming an integral and participatory part of the video games. Contra Contra is a run-and-gun video game developed and published by Konami in 1987. It was originally released as a coin-operated arcade game, but a home version was released for the Nintendo Entertainment System in 1988, along with ports for various computer formats. Contra is set in the distant future of the year 2633 AD, where the evil Red Falcon organization have set a base on the fictional Galuga archipelago near New Zealand in a plot to wipe out humanity. Two commandos, Bill Riser and Lance Bean of the Earth's Marine Corps Contra Unit, an elite group of soldiers specializing in the guerrilla warfare are sent to the island to destroy the enemy forces and uncover the true nature of the alien entity controlling them. Contra employs a variety of playing perspectives, a standard side view, a Sato 3D view in which the player proceeds by shooting and moving towards the background, and a fixed screen format in which the player has its gun aimed upwards by default. Up to two people can play simultaneously, with one player as Bill, a blonde haired commando with a blue bandana, and the other player as Lance a shirtless, dark-haired commando in a red bandana. Contra is voted number one by the video game website IGN as being one of the toughest games to beat. Grand Theft Auto Vice City GTA Vice City is considered one of the greatest video games that ever made. It was developed in 2002 by Rockstar North and published by Rockstar Games. Set in 1986 with its fictional Vice City, which was based on Miami, the game follows mobster Tony Versetti following his release from prison. After he is caught up in an ambush drug deal, he seeks out those responsible while building a criminal empire and seizing power from the other criminal organizations in the city. GTA Vice City is played from a third person perspective and the player controls Tommy Versetti and completes missions that are linear scenarios with set objectives to progress through the story. It is possible to have several active missions running at one time as some missions require the player to wait for further instructions or events. Outside of missions, the player can freely roam the game's open world and has the ability to complete optional side missions. Vice City features 8,000 lines of recorded dialogues, over 90 minutes of cutscenes, and 9 hours of radio, with more than 113 songs and commercials. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. Tommy! Watch your tone. Anyone would think you blame me for that unfortunate set of circumstances. Just take the money. Get the damn cash. Grand Theft Auto Vice City sold 1.4 million copies within two days of its release, making it the fastest selling game in the history of that time. It was the highest selling game of 2002 in the United States and by July 2006 it had sold 7 million copies and had earned the company 300 million in the United States alone. By March 2008 the game had sold 17.5 million units worldwide, making it one of the best selling PlayStation 2 games at the time.
Be sure to like and subscribe to learn more on the history of technology and much more. Take care.